Hello everyone. Uh, today we will talk about classification and precisely we'll talk about iris uh, training and accuracy, which is the most interesting thing in uh, orange data mining and in AI and uh, data science. Before we go into the example, let just me uh, recap with the classification. So classification means that we need to classify our database on certain classes. For example, if we talk about weather types, maybe tomorrow it's gonna be sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowing, uh, stormy, uh, or uh, foggy. So we have six classes, so we can pick one of them. So today we're gonna do a classification on iris dataset. So uh, if we train our dataset on the Stoza flower, uh, Verzi color uh, flower, uh, and uh, Vir Virginica uh, flowers, uh, what will be the accuracy, how we're going to do training, uh, how we're going to uh, see the uh, misclassified, how we're going to do the uh, or uh, uh, open the or show the confusion matrix. This is what we're going to talk about. In classification, uh, some examples of the uh, methods we will use in classification, we will use logistic regression, SVM, tree, random forest, and naive uh, base. We talked uh, already about the classes uh, of iris, uh, Stoza, uh, Versicolor, and Virginica, and we said that Battle and Sebel uh, uh, width and length are the main features that identify the flower if it is Stoza or Versicolor or Virginica. And we talked about that we have four attributes in, um, in uh, the um, iris dataset, and we have instances or records as you can see, we have 150 records in all data set. We have four features and we have the target classification, which is the class either uh, Stoza, Verzicola, or Virginica. Um, in orange data mining, there are uh, different types of using the data sets. One of them is they call, they call it three row header format. This is the iris.tab. They call it .tab because it's tab delimited text file tabs are between the values there are tabs this is number one number two uh, it this uh, يعني specific data set it has three uh, rows mainly uh, at the beginning which is the first row it represent the header which is the features names or the attributes names okay so we have these attributes names that will be used uh, in this data set the second uh, uh, row will be uh, the type of this uh, of each uh, column so the first column is c c means continuous value i uh, numbers means numbers continuous values d and this discrete discrete means specific values for example in d we have the class which is either stoza versicolor or virginica they call it discrete you might have t or s also okay and the third row is where you put the class or metadata or weight or ignore here the class which is the uh, iris stoza versicolor and virginica so uh, these are the three header format they call it uh, this is iris to tab and uh, you will see all data sets inside uh, the, the orange data mining are dot tab but however and of course you can return back to this um, to this uh, uh, link for more details however still you can use any formats you want like uh, excel format uh, and uh, orange data mining are dealing with excel formats in an excellent way so you can use your data set if it's in excel format or csv files also like this one so you have the uh, different options to use as data set using uh, uh, orange data mining. Uh, let us move uh, to the implementation of this very exciting project uh, in classification. So we will uh, drag the file and we will use today iris data set. You can use iris CSV file or you can uh, choose uh, whatever uh, data set you want. Here we're going to use, for example, Iris uh, Excel, or you can use uh, from here uh, backup data. I just backed, backed up data, data dot tab, Iris dot tab, for example. Uh, but when you click uh, in your environment here, you will find the default you know, uh, folder, which has all, already the Iris data set. So you can pick Iris dot tab data set. Okay. You open it. 
okay and you make sure that all the attributes are right so we have simple length width they are numeric values which are correct and the role is feature so this is feature 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 and the last one not skipped but it's actually target this is our target which is iris and it has three categories categories which are which are classes i mean which are the stoza versicolor and virginica i say apply okay this is the first step second step you can view the data through data table if you wish okay so this is the the data we have okay so we have 150 records uh, rows instances we have four features and we have the classification that's that's excellent second thing uh, you need to train the system uh, so we are going to connect the file into test this is the new widget test and score if you click in test and score nothing is there because we did not choose any and we did not pick any model uh, yet uh, to train this uh, data set so from here you can drag from this side and you can choose for example logistic regression this is the logistic regression and if you double click in the test you will see that it worked out so we have area under cave is 0 0.99 99.8% which is excellent uh, classification accuracy CA it's 0 0.967 which is excellent also f1 is 0 0.967 uh, this is the precision and this is the, the recall so from here we get all the information we needed uh, and uh, taking in consideration that the sampling we use is a cross validation cross validation uh, but you can use uh, different uh, folds you can also use random sampling uh, and you can also use test specific test data which we will use in our next uh, lesson but however let's focus today on this lesson now what we use is logistic regression also you can pick another one which is for example uh, tree the tree okay and if you double click now the test you will see that we have the tree and we have the logistic regression and these are the values for area under curve uh, classification accuracy etc etc okay and also you can uh, use or you can select also uh, svm support vector machine okay and uh, you can compare the three uh, models now the main question for us i need to show the confusion matrix so this is the confusion matrix in the confusion matrix you can select each one we have three uh, learners logistic regressions three svm in the logistic regressions um these the the, the diagonal one is the correct uh, uh, classification and the red one uh, are the misclassified so here they um done uh, 100 percent classification 50 from 50 which is absolutely fine very similar they done um the right prediction was 47 items from 50 and there were three miss classified three misclassified and in very color uh, 48 they were predicted correctly this is the prediction and this is the actual uh, 48 and two were misclassified okay now the question can i for example see these three record uh, and details of these misclassified records i can i can drag uh, from here a new data table okay and make sure it's selected the selected data to data so when i select something from here for example the three you will see the three here these are the three see so if i open the uh, two windows if i click here these are the uh, correct uh, predicted item 50 these are the 47 these are the 48 these are the three and these are the two records misclassified can I visualize them classified? Of course I can, of course I can. What I gonna do is I gonna, uh, from here, uh, I gonna collect to scatter, okay, plot. And this is for data, data to data. And for the confusion matrix, I will also connect to scatter, but the selected data to data subset. Selected data to subset, okay. And from here, actually, you can see if I select, for example, the three items, 
these are the three items misclassified see this is all data we have the uh, we have them with the light colors uh, uh, iris toza very color in red in circles you know empty and uh, virginica and these are the misclassified and of course you can conclude why these are misclassified because they are near this class these are from red but they are misclassified as virginica as virginica from this also i can keep this open and uh, this one also open i can see the right classified items all these are classified 50 50 the 47 these are the 47 these are the 48 which is corrected classified and these are the three they are between the uh, uh, verzi uh, colors and the virginica virginica and verzi color because are they are in the you know uh, in the in, in the um, uh, near uh, this class because of the, they are near this class so it misclassified these three items if we see also the 48 if we see the two see the these twos okay there were supposed to be what virginica green but they are misclassified as what as versi colors as which is this one so the two they are belonging to this class however it classified them as as versi color because they are you know in the area of versi color from this actually we can, we can start analyze the data in an excellent way using orange data mining we can see, see the misclassified pair each class, uh, correct classified items uh, and uh, the whole setup was directly uh, you can do it in two three minutes you can uh, set up the uh, test score confusion matrix and you can see the misclassified records also you can visualize the misclassified record as 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 uh, as i showed you this is the listen of course you you can also add more uh, for example naive base naive base naive base and from naive base you can also see the results here uh, the naive base it took uh, from accuracy classification accuracy 87 while the other is 96 96 and 96.7 so you can compare you know each learner results as an area under curve as in classification accuracy f1 precision and recall this is an amazing actually tool uh, in three four minutes you can do the whole learner models and you can plug also more models as we see in, in next uh, lessons for uh, uh, the next lesson precisely we will talk about testing how to do proper testing using uh, this this model so today it was very exciting uh, uh, lesson for all of us uh, I always learn everything uh, and every day I learn something in orange data mining uh, it is full with surprises and uh, I'm expecting that they're gonna add uh, more even surprising widgets to this amazing application so I encourage everybody to use it especially people in universities people who are in master or PhD and they wanted to have a quick model implementation on their data analyzing the, their, their data getting the results quickly and uh, getting all the visualized uh, uh, diagrams and put them in their uh, research thank you very much and see you on the next lesson